on our last video we showed you guys the unmanned gyoza stores that have opened up during the pandemic the other thing they have sprung up all of the city are these ramen vending machines We're going to be visiting one near us today this one is located in nakano this video is sponsored by squarespace more on them later here we are at Nakano Station. It's located just one stop away on the train from Shinjuku Station. And there are tons of things you can do here in Nakano. For example, you can check out the numerous Shotengai shopping streets, Nakano Broadway, which is like Akihabara wrapped all in one building. There's even a nice park where you can chill at and the many back streets to explore and it's a lot of fun. Nakano is also home to lots of good ramen shops. So it's not surprising that they have a ramen vending machine here. So here we are at the south exit of the Nakano station. The vending machine which we will go today is located in this area. It's only a few minutes walking from this station. So around the Nakano station, there are lots of shopping streets. This vending machine is located one of them. So here is a Burger King. I sometimes come here. I like this Burger King. Here is a shopping street, Family Road. The vending machine is over there. Let's go. We used to come along this street a lot once upon a time. Um, one of our favorite takoyaki shops is located right in the corner of there. It's really good. We think it's the best takoyaki in the area. Today, unfortunately, this shop is closed. We showed this takoyaki shop before, so please watch our previous video. Okay, we keep walking down the street here and it's literally about a minute away from here and that's where the vending machine should be. So here is a, a ramen shop named Komatsuya. And at the corner of this ramen shop, there is a vending machine. Here, here is a ramen vending machine. In, the, in this vending machine, there are four different ramen and one gyoza. All of these ramen noodles are made by proper ramen shops. Number one, number two, the serving ramen noodles from Ramen Nagi is sold out. It's the most popular one. Unfortunately, it is sold out. Ramen 2 is the, called the Jiroke Tonken, the pork punch, the lots of chashu meats on top of these ramen noodles. And this one, Ieke from Kishijoji Musashiya, it's a, a tonkotsu soy sauce based ramen. This is from Sakurai Shokudo and chicken flavor, chicken based soy sauce flavor ramen. And they also have gyoza, but we still have gyoza which we bought at an unmanned shop. So today we, go, we, want, we want to buy this gyoza. We're gonna get from Ramen Nagi Jiroke Pork Punch. Insert 1000 DM beer. The press number three. Kau. <laughs> wow. wow, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the ramen. Wow. We brought insulated bag. Yes. So, uh... Then, next one is from Kishijoji Musashiya. Why? Okay. Similar package. Mm -hmm. One more thing from Sakurai Shokudo, Tokusei Chuka Soba, soy sauce flavor ramen. Let's buy. Yay! Let's go home and cook. So before we continue with this video, let me tell you a little bit about Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that helps you grow your business, build your brand, even just stand out with a beautiful website. You can sell your products, your content, and even your time. For me, I simply want a space I can share stories and photos of our life adventures with friends and family. I found using Squarespace super intuitive and because there's tons of beautiful templates to choose from, getting started was super easy. The blogging tools and other features are really helpful and easy to use. So that basically means anyone can create whatever they want with Squarespace. To see if you like them, you can try them out for 14 days absolutely free. After that, use our code for 10% off your first purchase. Thanks for listening guys. Now back to the video. We arrived at home. 
So let's cook ramen. Let's do it. So we have three different types of ramen that we purchased. And the first two was actually from the same store called Nagi. Nagi. Now I'm not sure if they actually have this at their shop or not, right? It might just be specifically for the vending machine. Okay, so let's open it and see what's inside. So inside, there are noodles, very thick noodles, very and thick. frozen soup. All of them are frozen. And the bottom of the noodles and soups, there are toppings. I think it's ginger and garlic. The cooking way is very pretty simple. First, I put this frozen soup into boiling water and warm it about 15 minutes and cook noodles. It takes about seven minutes. Okay, so everything is ready. Soup is warmed up, cabbage is prepared, the noodles are cooked. So all we have to do now is drain the noodles. Make sure you drain it really, really well. Divide the noodles between the two of us. Pour in the soup, the toppings of cabbage, as well as some garlic and ginger. Jiro style ramen is tonkotsu based soup with soy sauce flavor and lots of fat. And the noodle is very thick. The portion is larger than the regular one. The size of the Pork! Oh my goodness! Yes. It's like a chunk of meat! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm totally so excited! Totally different from the supermarket ramen! <laughs> yeah, and this is one serving, but look, we divide it among the two of us. And they're pretty big pieces, <laughs> even if we divided yeah. it. Yeah. And I made a mistake. Sure. The topic was on garlic. Only garlic. Only garlic. Only garlic. That's the right. pack, inside the package, they're separated. So I thought it's ginger and garlic, mm -hmm. but it's garlic. Garlic. Okay. Okay. Deva, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. So, this is the Jiro K ramen. Jiro K ramen from Nagi. Mm. The soup is just as good as like a Jiro K ramen restaurant. Yes. Yes. It's, That's amazing. It's a ramen shop quality soup. It's yeah. it is from ramen shop. Yeah. So it's ramen shop soup as it is. Yeah. It's very, very different from like instant ramen mm. from 7 Eleven. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Definitely restaurant quality. Chewy, nice texture. Comes with soup so nicely. It does. Yeah. I'm gonna try a piece of the, the very, very um, tender, tender pork. Tender pork. Oh, it's good! Oh, it's good! Mmm, yeah. The roast pork is good. Inside of the package, mm -hmm. the soup package, mm -hmm. there are one big chunk of this chashu. Mm. And it looks heavy for me, but it's not. It's not. It's very soft, mm -hmm. tender. Yeah. Yeah, it's not heavy. It was 1,000 yen. Is it really worth the 1,000 yen? Yeah. But yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. During the pandemic, the old ramen shop had to close, mm -hmm. so they invented this the frozen ramen vending machine. Right, yeah, a lot, lot of the machines are right outside their respective shops. Mm -hmm. But after that, they decided to, you know, just um, put it all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yes, And yes. I like the fact that you can buy, you know, different varieties of ramen in one vending machine. Yes. Like the vending machines are open 24 hours. Yes. So yes. if you're hungry for a late night bowl of good ramen, all you have to do is look for one of these vending machines. Next one is Kichijoji Musashiya Ieke Max. Ieke originated from Yokohama. It's a tonkotsu soy sauce based soup <laughs> with chicken. And toppings usually include nori and spinach, as well as green onions. I think spinach makes it very unique. Uh, these are yellow egg noodles. It also comes with the soup, it comes with a packet of some toppings like the char siu and spinach, and a pack of nori. Mmm, lots of lots of nori sheets. Yeah. <laughs> 10 sheets to be exact. Wow. First, they put the frozen soup and the toppings in the boiling water to warm it up. And the noodles cook about 3 minutes. It's looking really good. We're gonna divide this into two, pour it in the soup, add the toppings, and of course the nori, and here we go. Musashi ramen. That looks ready. so good. It looks so good. Mm. Wow. Okay, let's let's dig in. Let's dig in before the noodles get soggy. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Delicious. I can Mushi taste the tonkotsu mm. with the soy sauce. That mm. blend. Mm. 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 And mm. chicken blend. Too. Oh yeah, that's right, the yes. chicken. Mm. No wonder, it, it's it's different from the first one. The first one is also tonkotsu and soy sauce, but with the added chicken, it does make a difference. 
I never knew that there was chicken in um, EAK ramen. Mm. And the noodles look noodles. yellow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Typical EAK ramen noodles. Chewy noodles. Chewy mm -hmm. egg noodles. Mm -hmm. Egg noodles. Mm -hmm. mm. Oishi. And I like this nori series. Lots of lots of nori series. Mm -hmm. I know. I love eating nori with ramen. Mm -hmm. You just kind of like uh, get the piece of nori and then wrap the noodles around this. Yes, yes. This way, I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. I feel like the nori gives a nice freshness because EAK ramen, the soup is pretty strong in flavor, I think. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try this char siu pork. But this spinach mm -hmm. is really good. Is that? Yeah. If it is mm. instant, mm -hmm. it doesn't have spinach, real spinach flavor. Mm. But this one is real spinach. Really? <laughs> so it's tasty. Oh, that's good to know. Mm. Mm, I have to say the pork is very very tender. I'm gonna take one more bite and then we can go on to the next one. The final one is from Sakurai Shokudo. I've never had Sakurai Shokudo, but neither. It is it's Tokusei Chuka Soba. It means it's authentic ramen, Tokyo style ramen, I think. Really? Like chicken based soy sauce flavor ramen. Soup. Okay, interesting. Chicken based soy sauce ramen. I'm not sure if I've ever had that before. So preparation is Similar, heat this frozen soup about 10 minutes and warm these toppings about 5 minutes and cook these noodles about 1 to 2 minutes. Wow, it's shorter time. Shorter time. Ah, because the noodles are thinner. Thinner, on yes. This one. Let's divide into two. We're gonna add the soup, add the toppings, and it is ready. The noodles are on the thin side. Mm -hmm. The soup is very clear mm -hmm. with just a very mm -hmm. thin, clear film of oil on the top and it smells like authentic soy sauce ramen. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, soy mm. sauce, good soy sauce flavor. I like this, this soy sauce ramen, shoyu mm. ramen. The soy sauce is very deep. It's very deep and rich. Mm -hmm. And with dashi, good dashi, good dashi chicken flavor. broth and they're using other dashi broth. All right, let's try the noodles, very thin. Mmm, mmm, mm -hmm. but it goes really well with the soup. I think. Mm. I think the thickness mm. of the noodles should be this thickness because the soup is not as strong as the first two. It's clear, present aroma mm. of soy sauce, and, and the noodles themselves have a nice texture. That's right. It has a chew. I'm gonna try the char siu meat. It's a big slab of char siu. <laughs> this one reminds me of the char siu from the past. Like the kind, you know, of um, ramen my mother used to eat, the char siu tasted just like this. Mm -hmm. And it's very thin. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the ramen we used to eat when I was a child, the char siu was just thin like this. Thin. First, I want to say these three mm. are well done. Yes. I can't believe this is from a vending machine. Mm -hmm. I'm. It makes me curious to try ramen from other vending machine. Like I want to try like a true Tonkotsu one, mm. I'm gonna try like maybe like a shio ramen or miso ramen from you know one of these restaurant style vending machines. It's worth it. It really go. is. <laughs> it really is, guys. I know, like at first I thought maybe 1,000 yen is that like a fair price? Because sometimes when you go to a ramen shop, you can get it for less than 1,000 yen. Mm -hmm. But I think it's very fair because. You have to think about it. They had to package everything. They had to put it in, you know, little containers. They had to, you know, um, print out the instructions, and they had to put it in a vending machine. So, considering all the trouble they had to go through to make these, I think one thousand yen is a very fair price. Mm -hmm. And the flavor is good. So it's worth it was yeah. one thousand yen. It's just like the restaurant, really. So, what was your favorite? Mm, if you had to choose one favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, I decide. Okay. The first one, Jirola. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> why? Can I ask you why? Why? The noodle texture, the soup flavor is really good. Yes, yes. How about your second favorite? The second one is good too. No, no, your the... second favorite. Ah, second favorite? Yeah, second favorite. Second favorite. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be the same as mine? It's equally, equally good. Really? The... My second favorite is this one. I see. It's the last one. Mm. The EAK one though, the one in the middle, I like it, but 
you know, you, you know how I don't really like uh, chicken flavored ramen? So I, I didn't really like the chicken flavor in my ramen. Really? Yeah, the iyeke. Really? So that's not really my taste. But the first one and this one is my like two favorites. What did you guys think of this video? What did you guys think of these vending machine restaurant style ramen? Uh, do you wish that you, you could have one of these vending machines in your area let us know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and if you enjoy videos like this one and if you haven't already done so subscribe thank you for watching see you next delicious video bye bye sayonara see you next time